Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his name. God is good to us. Hallelujah. Hey, my soul rejoices in the God of my salvation. For God is so good. He's real. And he's real deep down inside of me. Praise God. We sing the song. I've been running with Jesus a long time. And I'm not tired yet. Praise the Lord. And we thank you for joining us today, those of you by our live stream. And then those of us that's here in the building, we thank God for Jesus. We're getting ready to get a song from our inspirational choir. Praise God. Let's receive them by saying amen.
his name. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory. We don't know what he's going through. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. God is so good to us, we can't wait on nobody else. We got to get it for ourselves. Woo, glory. Ah. Yeah. I know some more of us feel like on the road. Glory to God. Ah. Praise him. Every round goes higher and higher. This is the first round. Hey, go. I wouldn't let none of them be by. Hallelujah. When God bless you like he blessed Ella Rose, you can't help it. He got the I can't help it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we're going to get our invocation by missionary Jamika Rambert, and she's going to further the program for us on this morning. Say amen as she comes. I need the oil. worship on this morning, oh God. Thank you for the activities of our limbs, Lord God. Thank you, oh God, that no one had to wheel us in on this morning, oh God. We were able to walk in here on this morning, oh God, and for that we tell you thank you, oh God. Now, God, we ask you to have your way in this service, Lord God. Have your way in the service on today, oh God. Have your way in the preach word on this morning, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your anointing saturate this place on this morning, oh God. Touch hearts, oh God. Lift up heavy burdens, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask you, oh God, to let souls be saved on this morning, Lord God. Let bodies be healed on this morning, Lord God. Don't let us leave the same way we came on this morning, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask you to have your way in this place, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, lift up heavy burdens on today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen the weak, oh God. Comfort the brokenhearted, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't let us leave the same way we came, Lord God. And God, we ask you to touch the speaker on this morning, oh God. Touch her from the crown of her head to the very soles of her feet, God. Give her, oh God, what you have for your people on today, oh God. We ask you to bless our pastor and our first lady, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Strengthen them and keep them, Lord God. And we'll give your name all the glory. Let bless those who are on their way, oh God, and those who are watching via live stream today, God. And we'll give your name the glory and the honor and all the praise that belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 28 and 29. It reads, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Amen. That's a good word. Hand it back over. Good morning, everyone. I'll be coming from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy with laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Want to give God a hand praise for the scriptures on this morning. Amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. How many of you come to give God the praise on this morning? He's been so good to us. Hallelujah. And he's been so kind. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to have a selection from our inspirational choir. Following that, we will have our affirmation of faith by Sister Kimberly Talley.
asking everyone to stand as we affirm what we believe. I will be the leader and you will be the congregation. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible word of God. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe that the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe that the baptism in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. God bless you. Amen. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. It is time for praise and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to give the name of the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for who he Hallelujah. is. Hallelujah. And we're going to Hallelujah. declare exactly who he Lord. is. Some people call him holy. We call him righteous. We call him faithful. Yeah. We call him loving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're just going to declare who Jesus is on this morning. Come on, put your hands together. of all praise our strong tower in your name we're safe we call you awesome you're so awesome god you're awesome So hard. 
say awesome. Hey, everybody say mighty.
Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. You are my healer. You are my way maker. You are my strong tower. You are my peace, God. You are my healer, God. Hallelujah. That's who you are to me. That's who you are to me. You're my everything. You're my everything. You're my everything. You're my everything. Whatever I need. Whatever I need. You are there, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's who you are. That's who you are to me, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. That's who you are. Hallelujah. When I don't have nobody else to call on, I call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is my strength. He is my strength. He is my strength. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Bless your name, Jesus. That's who you are, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, you got a right to give God glory. You got a right to give God praise. Hallelujah. After all he's done for you. After all he's done for you. Here we are in October. People have gone on to be with the Lord. But you are here. Hallelujah. So give God the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. 
speaker on today and I know she has a mighty word for your people for God's people on today hallelujah thank you Jesus we bless your name God hallelujah we bless your God hallelujah thank you God thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus bless your name Hallelujah. Now we're going to have our welcome address. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. From Mother Barbara Talley. Hey, the Spirit of the Lord. Here when we got here. And I just thank God on this morning 
And this morning we want to welcome Joy McLeon. I believe I'm saying that right. Joy. Joy, raise your hand. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. Come back and see us. Come back and see us. Praying that you enjoy the spirit on today. We thank God this morning for, <clears throat> for you choosing St. Stephen to be your house of worship this morning. And we just welcome you to enjoy Jesus with us. Glory to God. God is just good. That's all I know. That's all I can tell you. Hey, glory. God is good. Hey, God make ways for you. God open doors for you. God open windows for you. Glory to God. Sometimes, sometimes, I cannot explain it. Glory to God. His word already told me that his searching of his understanding. You can't even imagine. You can't even imagine. You can't even imagine how God works. How God works. God is a good God. God is a kind God. God is a merciful God. Glory to God. He wants to hear from you. God wants to hear from you. Uh, you can't take my praise. I can't take your praise this day. You got to praise God for your own self. He is the one that made a way for you. I didn't. I didn't. Ah, glory. I'm looking for my blessing too. I'm looking for my blessing too. And I just thank God on this morning. God is a wonder. And he does wonderful things for you and you and you. God is a wonder. You can't explain him. There is no searching of his understanding. God is a wonder. And he does wonderful things for you. Enjoy of the Lord is in the building, hallelujah, and we give God praise on today, hallelujah. Now we will have our praise, praise dancers, amen. They will come in their own way. This is Children's Church Hour, so we're going to have agape. Come on, all right, they ready, all right. Let's give them a hand as they come. Right, Caden Davis is going to give us a prayer, and Christian is going to give us a scripture. Then we will have our special dance presentation. Thank you, God, for the stage of the church. We thank you all for the church and all us. Amen. To LB coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 16, verse 1 through 5. Preserve me, O Lord, from in... Thee I put my trust, O oh, my soul, that thou hast unto, unto the Lord. Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but the saints that are, all, that are in earth. And to the, the excellent, 
in whom is my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that has an after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will not I will not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The God is the portion, mine inheritance and my cup. Thou maintainest my life. Saints, excuse us for the technical difficulties at the moment, but God is good anyhow. <laughs> the girls have a We're going to start that over in <laughs> Jesus' name.
want to give those young ladies a hand. Awesome job, ladies. Awesome job. Wonderful. And I was with them during rehearsal one day, and they were so excited to dance. Amen. And so we're so glad to have our praise team back. Amen. Under the direction of Sister Quiniana Ortiz and Sister Tiffany Wilson. Let's give them a hand. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Children's Church portion of the service. And we do have two more visitors cards. Um, Miss Ariel Walker, and she is from Maryland. If you could wave your hand. Nice to have you, amen. And Miss Tramisha, I hope I'm saying that right, Williams and Lena Dunbar. You could wave your hand. Amen. We're so glad to have you. Amen. And they're from the New Jerusalem Church of God in Christ. Amen. And they have an invitation from uh, our first lady, Lady Hughes, and Miss Walker had an invitation from Miss Sister Parker. Let's give our visitors a hand clap on this morning. We're so glad to have you. And at this time, we're going to go into our offertory worship, which will be under the direction of our chairman, Chairman Mitchell. Amen. Oh, Lady Hughes. Oh, I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to have words of inspiration. Amen. From Sister Ruth Williams. Amen. And let's give her a hand clap as she comes. Good morning, church. Not an upfront person. I'm not an upfront person, but then God is in control. Whew. And all that he's done for me. Hallelujah. And how, how many of you came up this morning? And you said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. Hallelujah. Where would I be? Hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you all, ladies in the beautiful pink this morning. Hallelujah, we celebrate in Breast Cancer Month. And I apologize, and I give honor to God and to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to Pastor to beautiful First Lady Hughes, and all, everybody that's here today. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. And I said, I'm not an upfront person, so I'm kind of nervous, but we're going to get through it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. And I just want to. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank him. Hallelujah. And I just don't know a blessing that I am just to walk in the church. Hallelujah. For all that he's brought me through just to be able to walk, walk my own two feet. screening start early so it's so important ladies get your screenings regardless of your age get your screenings if you're in your family you have a family history of it get your screening and we know God is our ultimate healer our, our personal rapper hallelujah we know he's our healer but sometimes you still go through things and you have to trust God and go through hallelujah Lord I thank you so it's so important for those screenings hallelujah Lord, I thank you. So as I'm going through, they call me back again to get a repeat. And hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. And needless to say, I, they saw a mass and they called me back to do a biopsy. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And they did come back with the news and let me know that I had breast cancer. 
Hallelujah. So this is from October 2020. Hallelujah. And then getting to where they get you set up and want you to go through like all your, you know, you go through your pre-search, so get you ready to go through treatment. They set me up for chemo. They set me up for radiation, and they said I had to have surgery also. Hallelujah. So you can imagine, I didn't get like the shock. Like, you know, they have everybody on, on stand and ready for you. They ask, do you have someone there? Do you have someone here with you? Um, they give you all the news. They give you that look, just like it's, you could tell when something is wrong. Hallelujah. But Lord, I thank you that he's always with me, that I take him everywhere I go. So it's so important to take him where you go. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in October 2020. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. But God just gave me peace. Even with the news, I didn't fall out. They asked me, you need someone? Can you call somebody to be with you? Because I was by myself at that time. And they asked, can you call somebody to be with you? And they give you that look, just like, you know, you know something's going on. But I just went on and told them, let's go ahead and get started. What I need to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why it's important to always, you know, you trust God. If God starts speaking, but usually when you start to go through something, God will start speaking. You just have to have the mindset. Listen at what he's saying. Hallelujah. He said, trust him. You have to trust him. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. But God gave me so much peace. Hallelujah. And I called around to different ones. And it was still, they were just saying how calm. You know, they were calm because I was calm. But God gives you that peace. Hallelujah. He'll bring you right on through. Hallelujah. So I started going through like the chemo. Hallelujah. And the chemo, y'all, it does so much to you. And they set me up to go through chemo. And I started from February 2021. And I went all the way to June 2021. But I didn't go through like normal. Like you would see people breaking up. If anyone had any what cancer in the family, you see the skin, everything changes. But it just so happened with God, hallelujah, when I just went through praising, like he said, to trust him, hallelujah, and I put all my trust in him, hallelujah, it didn't give, my skin didn't turn like they was looking, the doctors kept saying, Tell you, are you, your skin peeling, your skin turning gray, are you doing this, they going all down the line of things that the chemo is supposed to do to you. But thank God, hallelujah, I went in, and just like a little truck, I walked in, hallelujah, the first, the, as soon as I started to go through the chemo, I kind of got a little nervous being human, and you still trust God, but you're human at the same time, so you kind of a little worried, just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, you start thinking about what is it going to do to you, hallelujah, and I remember getting out of the shower that mo one morning, and getting ready to go to my first treatment. And I can hear God, I can hear that song singing. One of the mothers at my church, at, uh, Mother Carson used to always sing this song. If you know the Lord is keeping you, and what you gotta worry about, hallelujah. And I listen at that as God reassuring me, hallelujah, how we, I can go ahead and get through and I can trust him. He just kept saying, trust me, hallelujah. And we have to, like Proverbs 3 and 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Hallelujah. And in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Hallelujah. So I went on through the chemo. Hallelujah. Praising God all the way through from the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. And when I got to the end of that chemo, they kept looking at me because everything was going different. The skin, everything, nothing was peeling. Everything they were looking to happen wasn't happening to me. I did get a little sick, hallelujah, but it wasn't like I was all broke down and all, you know, that's, it's a look that comes over you when you're going through an illness. And it was to the point where people kept asking, are you sure you're sick? But isn't it like God to not let you look like what you've been going through? <laughs> hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Hallelujah. And that's like she said, she said he gives us power to the faint. Hallelujah. And to them who have no might. Hallelujah. He increases strength. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Got through the chemo. Hallelujah. And when I got to the end, 
got to that and you ring that bell hallelujah and I rang that bell hallelujah I said thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I said thank you Jesus because he didn't have to let me go through hallelujah it was at the time during the pandemic hallelujah everything shut down you really didn't want to go to hospitals and the doctors and all of this stuff a lot of them were doing virtual things but with me I had to go in hallelujah but dealing with that and going through the pandemic but God said trust me hallelujah who you know what better backup that you have hallelujah he said trust me hallelujah so I got through the chemo hallelujah Lord I thank you I thank you I thank you got through a month of the radiation hallelujah and then I got to the surgery hallelujah Lord, I thank you. You know what? I got there and I really needed someone because your mind, after you go through, you already, your mind is everywhere. But when you're ready to go through surgery, they're taking you in the back and you're by yourself. Hallelujah. And I wanted my daughter, I really needed somebody to be there. Hallelujah. But when God starts speaking and he said, trust me, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. And when I was laying there, they were prepping me, getting ready for surgery hallelujah lord i thank you i thank you i thank you i can look up i was looking up at the ceiling hallelujah and they had like maybe it could have been a skylight it could have been something up there but it was beautiful blue and white hallelujah and the sun coming down on me hallelujah and i can hear angels singing hallelujah because i'm back there by myself i wanted somebody with me and that's where my mind was going but I could hear the angels singing, hallelujah. And it kept saying, he promised, hallelujah, never to leave me, never to leave me alone, hallelujah. And it just kept ringing as I'm looking up. It was beautiful. And I could hear the song just kept going, hallelujah. And I began, hallelujah, to just rest in him, hallelujah. He said to trust me, hallelujah. I had to trust him, hallelujah. And I could feel his arms, hallelujah. He was cradling me, hallelujah. And I just laid there and I started going into a praise and I said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. That's how God does. Hallelujah. That's how he do. Hallelujah. When he said, trust him. Hallelujah. Regardless of your circumstances, regardless of what you're going through. Hallelujah. Put your trust in him. Change your mindset. Hallelujah. And for God, I live. For God, I die. Hallelujah. Trust him hallelujah lord i thank you i thank you i thank you hallelujah hallelujah and lord i give you all the honor all the glory all the praise hallelujah such an honor to walk in the church and give my testimony hallelujah i'm going through the pandemic going through and you see so many while i'm laying there going through my treatments People dying all around you. Hallelujah. People dying from COVID. People dying from cancer. Some people can't take it. They doing suicide. When you're going through the chemo, going through all your treatments, they have a whole line of all kinds of people laying there. People come there. But God had me in a position where even though they came in to help me, I end up witness encouraging them hallelujah but that's how God when you anchor yourself in him when you anchor yourself in him anchor yourself in him hallelujah 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 he'll give you the strength to go through hallelujah no matter what it looks like no matter what it feels like hallelujah you trust him and you trust him and you trust him hallelujah you keep your faith, hallelujah. You don't give up on him, hallelujah. Whatever God says, if he says it, hallelujah, that settles it, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah. And he kept telling me, he said, tell him about your hope, hallelujah. I have hope in him, hallelujah. I can stand in here because I have hope in him, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I said, I was looking up 
because he was giving me what to say when I came over. Hallelujah. And he kept saying, tell him about the hope. Hallelujah. When God gives you a song, he gives you a scripture speaking directly to your specific uh, situation, what you're going through. Or somebody will come up to you and say, God said you can make it. Hallelujah. That's your hope. Hallelujah. That's your hope. Hallelujah. And the true hope, let's see, comes by trusting God, even when circumstances are difficult. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I trust you and I love you. Hallelujah. I remember some mornings I would get on the prayer line. Hallelujah. We have our five o'clock prayer. And some mornings I couldn't even speak, but I was able to get on there. And I was thanking God. Hallelujah. That I was able to get on there. Hallelujah. And when I say it was a blessing, we didn't shout, Hallelujah. When I say it was a blessing, it didn't have to, I'm no better than anybody else. Hallelujah. But he didn't have to bless me like he did. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. And when I'm laying there, went through the surgery, made it through the surgery. Hallelujah. And when the doctor came, she was just like, she was saying, you made my job so easy. Hallelujah. Because the mass, nothing spread. Everything was just in one location. And then she just had to do one cut and she cleaned everything up. Hallelujah. But that's that God where he said, trust him. Hallelujah. You have to trust him. Hallelujah. 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 No matter what it is, no matter what comes your way, hallelujah, just keep trusting, keep believing, hallelujah, keep praising, don't lose your praise, never lose your praise, hallelujah, with that praise, you can step on the devil's head, hallelujah, and you can keep right on going, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, and sometimes when you're going through, you have to wait till your change come, but you still keep praising God. You keep praising him. Hallelujah. Cancer doesn't mean your life is over. Hallelujah. People are afraid of that word. Cancer. Hallelujah. But I've been praising God from the time the doctors and the nurses, they knew me when I came in the door because I came in with a praise. When I rang that bell, I praised. When I got to the end of the radiation, you ring the bell again. I tried it all the way through that bell and I was saying thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you He put me right on the program right then. Hallelujah. But he said, you have to tell it. Hallelujah. Because cancer, it doesn't mean the end. Hallelujah. It's your mindset. Praise him right on through if you have to go through it. And sometimes you could be diagnosed, and then when they go, they don't find it. Because that's that God. He's able to do that. Hallelujah. He's able. Cancer doesn't mean the end. Hallelujah. Look at me. Like I said, I'm no better than anybody else. But it's his grace, his mercy, his favor. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Oh, I thank you. Every time I come into church, I come in and I say, Lord, I thank you. I'm walking in. Woo! Thank you.
be firm. We can go through hell and high water, but we don't look like what we've been through. We don't look like what we've been through. Hallelujah. She went through chemo and radiation. But my God, today, you couldn't tell by looking at her. And what I loved about she said trust, and then she said she kept praising God through it all. Hallelujah. So that's what we have to do. We got to trust and keep praising God. The enemy is going to talk to you. The enemy is going to have his way. But we have God has the final say. We have the devil's boss man. We serve a God who has never lost a case. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you so much for that testimony on this morning. Hallelujah. God is in the building. Hallelujah. And so now we have our chairman, Diggin, coming to do our ministry of giving. Let's give him a hand as he comes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we thank God. I'm up here for the minutes of giving, but I just want to thank God. Just reflect back. Look back on how many doors God has opened for you. How many ways he made for you. I, I got numerous off ties and offers, I don't feel late to call the name. We just need to stand to your feet, please. Stand to your feet and raise this offering. Hallelujah. God is good. God is merciful. God is kind. Hallelujah. And as we're standing, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard. God, you are a healer. You are a deliverer. Your Savior, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this offering that we're about to receive. Bless those who have it to give and bless those who don't have it to give. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 introduction of the speaker by missionary Kalita Rose. After that, we're going to have a selection from our choir. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I am here to introduce our speaker for today. And oh my God, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce this young lady. And she is a sanctified, holy, ghost-filled, praise and praying lady. Oh, yes. Oh my God, I can just go down the list of what amazing work she has done in this church. But most importantly, she is a miracle worker, saints. She is a walking miracle. 
And I tell her every time I see her, Mother, you are a walking miracle. Look what God has brought you from. The devil trying to take you out, but look what God is doing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She's a natural mother of four, but she's a spiritual mother of so many. And I thank you, praise God, for mother, her mother, Mar Freeman, who I speak for this day. And like I said, she is saved, she's sanctified, she's a praying woman, she's a fasting lady, and she knows the word of God. I know one of her scriptures is, I will look into the hills, but it's coming my help. Come my help, coming from the Lord. And so say you will be uh, you will be in awe of how, how she's going to respond on the word of God and how is she going to allow God to use her on today. So please get with her, get her your amen, get her your hallelujah. Don't sit down, don't let the devil sit on your lap. The saints the church have been too good for all of that. So get with her and please, next voice you may hear after the choir give their choices number, be no other than missionary, evangelist missionary, Mark Freeman. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our pastor had asked me if we could sing some Hezekiah Walker and John P. Key songs. So on this Sunday, the inspiration choir has been dedicating all of our songs on our behalf of the pastor. But on this morning, we're going to be playing a solo along the choir. God is a God of a second chance. How many know that God is a God of a second chance? If you would put your hands together and encourage this young lady. As she sings, Missionary Pamela Mistral, God is the God of the Second Church.
God for being here on this day that the Lord has allowed me to be here and I thank God first I give an honor to God and to my listeners pastor pastor Bruce Ellie Hughes and to my first lady first lady Vicki Hughes you are, I just thank God I thank God I thank God truly I enjoyed the service thus far. I said, look like to me, all I got to do is say, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> but I tell you, it's nothing like having a word when God gives a word to say. Yes, yes. And I thank God. Yes. My topic is there. I heard them say that. Did God bless them with healing? Bless them with this and this and another thing. But you know what I'm thinking about? Pastor, I'm thinking about a time to go fishing. Right. All right. Hallelujah. Time to go fishing. We're fishing for this. Persist, persist, persist. We are fishing for this job and fishing for that job. But you know what? You're missing the most important thing when you forget Witnessing for souls. That's why we are saved. God said, go ye into all the world, to the heads of the highways, and compel them to come. Come. Come to Jesus, just as you are. Very looted and sad. But I find in him a resting place, and he has made me gay. Hallelujah. I'm going to be coming from Mark, first chapter, 16 step to 17, 18th verse. Reads as thus, and as he was walking by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brothers, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, come after me. I will make you come a fisherman of men. And straightway they forsook that net and followed him. Now, what more important, you may have a seat. What more important than it is to be a fisherman for Jesus? What more important all that you've been through with, all you went through, all that has happened in your life, that's the only way you can be a fisherman. You got to tell what God done for you, how God brought you through, how God made a way, how God opened a door. A fisherman of souls. Hallelujah. And I just think about it. What more common method? Fishing for a major industry around you can, of Galilee fishing was not was the most important. In Caprina, that was the largest thing. They had just started like fishing for fishing. And around the sea day, they came. Jesus knew home. When you start fishing for souls, you got Jesus new home. And then you are finding in Matthew 4, 4, 12, and 13. Jesus told Peter and Andrew, leave your fishing business leave your fishing business because fishermen to help others that God Jesus will allow them away from their productive trail.
to be positively, spiritually, we all need to fish for souls. We all need to be fishing for souls. Because, you know, every time all that I went through it, all that I went through it, they said, Lord, don't get Mother Freeman's talking. Because that's all she's going to talk about is what God has done for her. What more else could I say? What else could I say? What do I have to talk about? But I know, I know for myself, you don't have to tell me. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. God is a way maker. Hallelujah. I thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. I am that I am. And we pass. I just thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Abel, don't care what it is. He's Abel. Then Jesus has been teaching us and telling us. We know. We've been in church how many years? We know what to say, how God delivered you. When you got in a situation, you didn't see no way out. But you know what? My favorite scripture. I lift up my eyes unto the hills. From which cometh my help. I don't have a woman. All I got to do is look up. Redemption drawing now. That's all you got to do is look up. And then these men already knew Jesus had a talking to Peter and Andrew and them. He been talking to them all the time. And they knew about God. They knew that God could do it. They seen God praise the dead. He seen God open sight to the blinds. He seen God that could never see before. I remember thinking about the lady that was at the sick unto death. And Jesus went in and laid his hand on her. She stood up. But the God that I serve, why are you not going to tell it? Tell it. Tell it. Oh, God. They followed, but instead they were thoughtful and need and following him would change their life. They felt like, I'm not worried about a job. Peter got upset. Jesus, I've been fishing all night long, and I ain't got nothing. God didn't set no limit time. He said, be just persistent. Don't care what it looked like. You just keep on searching. The psalm said, I searched and I searched until I found the Lord. I searched and I searched. And said I had a new walk. Yes. I searched and I searched. On, and I had a new talk. On, the woman I said use, I don't do no more. Yes. The place I used to go, I don't go no more. I had an encounter with God. I had an encounter with God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think about it. If you be my sister, Peter got upset. Now, 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 let my mind go way, 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 way back. I'm thinking about my husband, Paul Freeman Jr., my husband. When I got married, I wasn't saved and he wasn't saved. But you know what? You know what happened to me, Pastor? My sister, he went to a club and had an aneurysm and didn't make it. I never forget it. My niece came to the one and told me, said she didn't make it. Didn't make it. You know what? People don't know why. They said I'm always talking about God. I just sat there and I wondered. I said, Well, my sister's gone. She's gone by herself for herself. I said, When I go, I got to go for myself and by myself. You know what? When you say that, the devil said around with his plans. But see what? He lost forever. He ain't gonna talk to me when I know the word. The word that I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. The word is a lamp unto my pathway, a light unto my feet. The word. Uh-huh. My husband, Paul Freeman. Kept on going. Kept on going. You know what I was doing? That's all I was doing, fasting and praying. And you know what else I was doing? I was going to women's conventions. 
I said, he had his good time, and I've had my good time. I'm serving the Lord. I wasn't worried. I wasn't fretting. I was eyes on God. And I kept on. 20, it, Peter got upset because he had fished this one night. I've been fishing for 25 years. But you know what? You, God said a thousand years is one day. I ain't got nothing to boast about. All I got to boast about is Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for the teaching that I got down in this, in this church, St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. It means something to get sound doctrine. I think about Ella Thurman Bird. Ella Thurman Bird don't mean it knowing, but I know him. God did it. God did it. Then we got Pastor Bishop Thomas. He told us what you got to do, should do, and not do. Keep your eyes on it. It's coming up again. That's what I, it's coming up again. Every seed you sow. If it's a bad seed, look for a bad seed. If it's a good seed, look for a good seed. It's coming up. It's coming up. Don't forget it. And do you know what? It's your girl, Jack Williams. She knows this. I was sitting in the church. Mother, Mother Aubrey said he'll talk to you like a natural man. See, I was in the prayer six o'clock in the morning. I was praying, praying. I said, I'm going to keep my eyes on God. Do you know what happened? Mother Reed was there. God spoke to me in this church like a natural man. Like a natural man. God, he said, he's coming in. And it won't be long. Long. Won't be long. He came in the church. It's a less than a month. Said, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Won't nobody man but the devil. See, 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 see. The devil, he thought he had me, but I got away. He thought he was going to get me and my husband, Pastor Hughes. He thought he was going to get both of us. That's why he wouldn't let up. But you know what? He came in his church, said, I want to be saved. Ella Bird made him a, a president of the mail course. Then he was teaching Sunday school. You tell me what my God can't do. If you just wait patiently. I give the sign of your heart. Commit your ways unto me. And all that ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Don't care what it look like. It ain't no what it look like. It's who you know. Who you know. Who you know. Who you know, Sherry. Who you know. You know I'm a healer. You know I'm as a deliverer. You know I'm as a way maker. A problem solver. God is, God is, he's good all the time, hallelujah, well Jesus, Simon Peter, he had, now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out in the deep and let down your neck for a fall, see, you can't do nothing in, the, in this building all the time, and you go in here, and you're going there. Are you being a witness for God when you meet different ones? Tell them about God. But you know what? When God does miraculous things for you, you can't forget it. How can I forget it? That's why I don't have no problem. Every time I, somebody say, oh, you look nice. I say all the glory and all the honor belong to God. Lord, you made me yes. what I am. Lord, you made me yes. what, I what I am. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. 
I think about it. I think about it. Hallelujah. So Lotte in the deep and the seven answering unto him, Master, we tall all night and ain't caught nothing. But at thy word, I let down my net. And when they, I will let down my net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish. And the, it was they caught so many fish until the net was broke. Because God told them to let down the net. You got a lot of deep. You can't sit on the shore, say one place. And no God be a witness for him. That's the only reason God saved us. To be a witness for him. To be a witness for him. God said. And when they had done this. They enclosed a great multitude of fish. And so also James and John. The son of Zebedee. Which was partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon. Fear not. For henceforth, thou shalt be catching of men. That's what salvation is. It's the soul. You know the world sometimes just don't know what to do. Why? Our Lord learned the teaching of God. He took it in for us. In order to accept Christ. In order to be a fisherman for him, it's not about us. It's all about God. It's all about God. Because you, if you've been through what I've been through, you've been shouting too. When I think about it, the lady was, girl was talking about the cancer. Yeah, the cancer. And said why the COVID was going on. During the time when I got sick, the coat was going on. I was sick. I don't know what happened to me. I had just come from work on that Friday. I was sitting there with my grandson, James Addison. I said, well, we're going to sit down for a while, and we're going to watch the Christmas go over. I was in November. So we sat there, and then I said, well, we're going to eat dinner at 9. And then I said, I know we ate, but I said we're going to bed at nine. I got ready to blow my nose. I never seen so much blood in my life. Never seen so much blood in my life. And I, I said, okay, it'll be all right in the morning. I, I don't even remember first lady when the morning come. I didn't know nothing. My granddaughter had gotten there and took me to the hospital. When I, when I stayed seven, when I went to the hospital, say I didn't know nothing. I couldn't talk. I couldn't do nothing up the machine. I had so many blood clots in my body. Do you know that's what took my husband out of this world? One blood clot. One blood clot. And I had so many clocks in my body, they had to put a shield in me to stop those blood clots from going to my heart from killing me. Oh, you tell me why I'm still serving God. When I look to the left, he's there. When I look to the right, he's there. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. My soul, rise out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. That's why. I'm going fishing. I can tell it. I don't have to make up nothing. What not anything is better than self-experience? I can tell you, for a marriage problem, all you got to do is live the life. Don't worry about it. Just live the life. 
Let's stay steadfast on God. Don't look, but look up. I don't care what you're going through. Marriage problems, cheering problems, whatever it is. You just look to Jesus. The author and fears of your faith. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Medicine, bud. Look to Jesus. He's the answer. God is the answer. God is the answer in the time of need. God is the answer in the time of need. Oh, the answer in the time of need. Oh, must stand and never doubt. He will surely bring you out. Bring the murder to the laws and leave them there. Oh, leave them there. Oh, leave them there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. And if they'll trust that. Peter was satisfied. Peter. Peter. Peter, Lord, I believe. I'm going to be a fisherman. I'm not going to keep eyes. I'm not going to keep my eyes on that job. But I'm going to look to Jesus. I'm going to get a spiritual job. I'm going to get a job so souls. Someone, the natural job is, what do you want? You try to find what you try to get. But this spiritual, spiritual gift is eternal life. That's all we are living for today is to live again. Eternal life. Don't care what it look like. Don't care what you're going through. God bought, anytime God bought Jonah. Jonah, God told Jonah to go down to Nineveh. Jonah didn't want to go. He being disobeyed to God. What happened to Jonah? Three days in the belly of the fish. Three days. But he came to himself. I don't want to go. I ain't doing it. Sound like Peter. I've been fishing all night. Jonah, I'm, I, 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 I'm going, I'm not going to Nineveh. I'm going to, to another rock. End up in the belly of the wheel. Now, if you want, you want a problem now that you got hung up, caught up in a, the net, in the net, then God said, drop down your net and launch out in the deep. We got to launch out in the deep. We got so many to launch out to. I think about 22 great grandchildren. You hear me, Pastor? 22 great grandchildren. 12 grandchildren. And how many grandchildren I got, Siobhan? Siobhan. Uh, how many do you have? How many grandchildren? Like you don't know. 12. How many accept in Christ? Look at them. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't have, I got time to stay around. Them. I got to launch it in the deep. I got to go and tell them the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's the only way you're going to get eternal life. You can do this and do that. Go here, go there. You know this. Can't tell them I know everything. And you know what it comes down to? Zero. Nothing. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. I get so tired. I get so tired of these young people always telling what? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Then you turn around. Then you turn around and have a bad choice. But you was your choice. Don't come crying to me. Don't come telling me. 
Sometimes they get so upset, they made a bad choice. First lady, they won't even have nothing to do with me. But you know what? I say, for God I live, and for God I die. I'm not taking down, I'm pulling out. I'm looking, I'm gonna keep on. Let them keep, let them keep on. They're gonna find out soon that I'm not going for any and everything. Because you know what? I've been taught over 50 years ago. This you should do. You should not do this. You should do this. Oh, yeah. They got an excuse. What they say? Oh, yeah. That's in the back in the old days. But God told me, say, I'm dead yesterday, never more. And I'll never change. Now, how can we change? Hmm. Oh, my God. Lord, help us. Save us, Lord. Save us, Kim. Save us, Kim. Ask God to save us. Pray. Pray when you feel like it. Pray when you don't feel like it. Pray. Pray always. Pray always. Pray in the morning. Pray in the noonday. Pray at night. Pray. 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 God is the answer. God is the answer to every problem. To every problem. Who don't want to serve a man? God, that got an answer to every problem. You sitting around, word to death. What good is word? What good is word do? If you're gonna pray, why worry? If you're gonna pray, why worry? Let go and let God do it. He know how to do it. Beverly Vader, she know what God can do. He know what God has done. And God will do. He'll do it. I don't care what it look like. It ain't what it look like. It's who you know. It's who you know. If you know Jesus, you got the best thing in the world. Money came back. Money came back. Let God do it. Kennedy, you know who did it. God did it. God did it. I see you. I see you. My son, I see you. God did it. God did it. I thank God the same day. I thank God. That's all I'm telling the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. My soul cries out hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. You don't have to worry about watching me, what I'm doing. Because that unseen eye is watching you and I. He's an all-seeing God. He's an all-knowing God. He's everywhere at the same time. Everywhere at the same. But what's better than that? He said, I knew you before you conceived in your, your mother's womb. Now, what do you all do? But you serve God. What do you all do? Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know it. God said, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. I knew you. So on the day, saints, I hope that I say some encouraging words that I don't care what it looked like. If you just let God do it. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. We got a lot. Of, I know I got a lot of fish to catch. And I'm going to keep on fishing. And you know how I catch them? Praying. In the morning. In the evening. At night. I call for saints in the church name. I'm not just saying that I do, I do it nightly. I call the elders. I called my pastor, first lady. I called ministers, deacons, missionaries, saints, and friends. I said, Lord, because we are a church family. We are a church family. We got to be together. Together, together we stand and divided we fall. You can't go out there, out, in the, out if you go back, back here, follow. You got to let God lead you. Every step of the way. Every step of the way. Oh, God, I thank God for knowing Jesus. See, God didn't just spare my life for nothing. He spared my life so I can tell somebody else. I wear shorts. I'm not talking something I think happened. But I know what happened. God spared me. Now, if you want God to spare you, 
you go fishing for souls. Go fishing for souls. Tell them what you went through. How God saved you. How God blessed you. How God made the way for you. How God delivered you. Go fishing. Tell them. That's what I'll, I tell them. I tell them. God is the answer to every child. Every need. God is the answer. He's got the answer. Whatever it is, if it's sickness, he got the answer. If it's problem in the family, he's got the answer. On KBC now, the devil, he's on his job. And we got on our job. Well, it's called some of us. The devil is going in the schools shooting up, going in the churches shooting up, in the hospital, on the jobs, everywhere. He not, now, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm serious. I'm concerned about soul. I got so many to pray for. That's why I fast and pray all the time. All the time. God just told me, if you want to stay, you got to pray. If you want to last, you got to fast. I thank you, Jesus, for the mind, the mind, the mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I love the Lord. With every ounce of blood in my body. I was witness to my niece, Gail Ford. She been in the hospital. Her blood pressure, her blood count was so low. Can you believe somebody had a blood count of three and still living? Three. But do you know what? She said, Aunt Maud, I'm going, and now it's a blood coming out. I said, thank you, Jesus. I was praying. I said, God, I know you can do it. That's what you did for me. I called her a couple of weeks ago. She said, did the hell give me more blood? It's coming out. Coming out. She said, Aunt Maud, please don't forget to tell them today. Don't forget to tell them today. Guess what the broke cat is? Hey! what it look like. Don't worry about the cow. Worry about Jesus. Keep on your mind. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a way maker. He's a problem solver. He's a burning barrel. He's a hard fixer. defeated today. He came on talking to me, trying to make me nervous. I said, what am I going to be nervous for? All that I've been through. All that I've been through. What am I going to be nervous for? Get back, Satan. You stand on my feet where you belong. You a liar. You a deceiver. You are nobody. I thank God. Who did it? Who did it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not a day sight. Today, I hold a sense of encouraging words to let you know don't care what you're going through with. Don't win on a problem. But look at the problem solver. The problem solver. Ain't nothing he can't do. Nothing God can't do. Whatever you need, he said, I will supply all your needs. 
according to my riches and glory. And my Lord is rich. For he said the earth is his. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Now tell me what he can't do. Everything. Everything. God is in control. That little problem you got. Give it to him. Give it to him. He said cast it. Cast your key on him. I care for you. I care for you. Mm. I love him today, saints. I love him today with my everlasting love. I thank God for being with me on today. Holy boldness. Fire baptized. Hallelujah. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. For the bonds. For the bonds. I thank God. I thank God. Who did it? God did it. He'll do it. He'll do it for you. If you let him. If you let him. But he can't do it if you're always complaining. I don't know. I don't time I turn around. I'll always this and that. But every time I turn around, God keeps on blessing me. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 I thank God. I don't, I don't only pray for people in this church. I call them on the line, call them the house. Mother Bernie's falls. I often call her. She said, Lord, Mother, said to me, you called me at the right time. I couldn't even walk around. I couldn't move. But I said, Bernie, he said, well, nobody but God to put you on my heart. And I call them. Call them. Encourage one another when they're going through and sickness, whatever it is. Encourage them. Because you know what? You experienced it. That's why you can call the people that are sick, that are lonely, the husband not doing right, children not acting right. But I go down on my knees and I call him. I call him. After a while, we got to wait. You got to wait patiently. You got to wait patiently. Don't look at what you're going through. Look at who's taking you through it. I thank God. I thank God. Well, I guess I've said enough on this afternoon. But I thank God, Ella. I love the Lord. Every ounce of blood in my body. I love him. And I thank God for showing up for me today. Take away all that fear. Devil, that's the devil. Black Mother Aubrey, I hate him. Always throwing his dots. But I got a dot killer. Every time you slut. about yourself. You are saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled. I'm running for my life. You got to tell them if they want peace, go to Jesus. If they want joy, go to Jesus. If they want love, go to Jesus. Peace, love, and joy. That's what I ask God every day. Peace, love, and joy. That's what I ask God for. Peace, love, and joy. So on the day, saints, if you got peace, you got love, you got joy, you got God on the inside. Now I'd like to say, if anyone today would like to go fishing, would you like the prayer at this time? In the name of Jesus. There's one today would like to go fishing. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. There's that one. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one wanting to go fishing for souls? For souls? 
for souls. God is the answer. Every problem, every problem, every situation, God is the answer. God is the answer. God is the answer to every need, every problem, every situation. Let God do it. Let God do it. In the name of Jesus. I thank you. For the world above is there's no one but Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Stay right there. Way maker. your testimony yeah. wave your hand wave testimony to ourselves. We have to go out and let people know that God is a healer. If he can save me, he can save you. Hallelujah. We thank God for Missionary Freeman. Amen. Let's give her another applause on this morning. Hallelujah for allowing God to use her. Amen. And give us what thus saith the Lord. Now we're going to raise an offering. We can't pay her for what she has told us on this morning. But we're just going to give her a token of love just to show her that we appreciate God using her. So we ask everyone to stand on this morning, on this afternoon, excuse me. Amen. And we're going to have the ushers come. We have our card machine. Amen. present to our speaker on today. God, let her use it for your glory and your honor. We thank God for each and every person who would give. Bless those who weren't able to give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And on behalf of the women department, we have some bags that are being passed out for Breast Cancer Awareness um, Month.
right? So they're passing those bags out right now. Um, so ladies, you know what we have to do. Amen. And I have hit that age where I have to go get mine done. Amen. So I know what I must do, okay? I have two little ones that I have to live for. Amen. So I'm going to go and do what I have to do. Right now we have our announcements that are coming from Sister Shanina O. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did not our hearts burn on today? Hallelujah. God was in this place on today. All right, so I stand before you to give you announcements for St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Um, come back on this evening at 5 p.m. to celebrate with our ushers. Let's give them a hand. Hallelujah. The guest speaker is Reverend Dr. Herbert Wilson of the new Greater Mount Zion Baptist, Mount Sinai Baptist Church. And our president, Sister Rosie Oza, she's asking all of the ushers to be back today at 445. Again, that service is this evening at 5 p.m. On Thursday, we have YPWW via Zoom. Um, I am your president. However, God has saw fit for Elder Davis to be the teacher on this week. So Elder Davis will be teaching YPWW this week. Um, on October the 29th, we have a youth revival, one night revival. Our revivalist is going to be our own chair lady, Missionary Jordan Mitchell. So come out on that Saturday. You come out, bring your children, bring your youth, invite somebody from the neighborhood to come out to hear what thus said the Lord. Amen. Also on um, the 30th, which is Youth Sunday, our speaker is going to be Elder Joaquin Ortiz, yes. who also happens to be the president of the youth department. So come out next, I mean, next Sunday to celebrate with the youth. And the final announcement that I have is um, next Sunday is our final district service for the year. And that's going to be here at St. Stephen's, and our speaker is going to be Pastor Albert Day. Amen. Let's govern ourselves accordingly to the announcement. All right, there's a special presentation coming. your hearts. Amen. That you won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name, as our, past, our former pastor would say. Now we will have our remarks and benediction from the Women's Day Department, President Missionary Shirley Custis. Praise the Lord, everybody, again. Did not we enjoy Mother Freeman? She is a prayer warrior. She loves to pray. And she's always in the word. So we're going to stand up and be dismissed. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost let it rest in the Bible, us, pure now and forever, ever. Let the church say amen. Consider yourself dismissed. <laughs>